Welcome back, Scotty's Backyard Barbecue. You know where barbecue is always a way of life, folks. Today we are going to do a dusted New York strip burger. You heard me right, folks. A dusted pineapple, dusted New York strip burger with dusted mayo sauce with fresh farmer's market onions all right this is going to be an epic cook folks and how are we going to do an epic new york strip burger well i'll show you hang on let me show you what i got folks as you can see here folks i got two beautiful new york strips now they were sitting in the display case for a while so i either have to cook them or freeze them and we're going to hit them with that dusted folks not just an orange dusted we're going to weigh these in I'm watching these way, folks. That one weighs in a little over a pound. This one weighs. So we got about three pounds. So that'll make. We're gonna add a little bit of weight to this too. We're gonna add a little bit more fat. We're gonna see if we can get half pounders, folks, or even a third pounder. All right, folks. Hang on. I'll show you how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna take this over to the grinder. I ain't gonna bore you too much with the grinding process. Try to keep this video short. So let's move over to the grinding table. Alright, guys. You can see my shirt, but you can't see my face. Anyway, there's the grinder and the little LAM tabletop model. I ain't breaking out the big grinder. We got our meat here. We got some additional fat I'm going to add. So I'm going to make one pass with the old grinder. I didn't set the table up here. Uh, we just got these things. I ain't going to bore you too much with the grinding. You get the idea. I'll be back after I grind the first pass all up, folks. All right, guys, there it is. All ground up for the first pass. And we're going to add our dusted to it. We're going to add about, damn it. We're going to go with two tablespoons of dusted. All right, we're going to kind of fold this a little bit. And then we're going to add a half a cup of water because all the blood has been taken out of this meat. We're going to add a little moisture back. Do you know that Walmart hamburger meat? They add over 500 gallons of water to their one blender. Mix it, and then they grind it. You ain't going to find that in no Google search, folks. Man, that dust it smells great. That salt, that garlic, that pepper, that charcoal. Now, we're not making sausage here. We're just going to kind of fold that. Now, you can add more or less water. Like that, so it already absorbed all that water. We don't want to mix it too much. Now we're gonna put this back in the in the freezer for about a half hour, and I'm gonna make a second pass. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna bore you with the second pass, folks. But uh, we'll be right back after the second pass. Alright, guys, there we are. We got the second pass through. These are half pound New York strip dusted burgers, folks. Dusted. I've been playing around with this rub. A lot of people say it's a little on the salty side, but I don't think so. I think it's a well balanced myself. They say a little bit goes around a long ways, but Scotty don't think so. Scotty thinks it's a well balanced of salt, pepper, garlic, and charcoal. I myself, this is just my honest opinion. I don't think it's heavy on the salt side, but that's just me though, folks. Your taste buds could be a little different. Anyway, we're gonna season these up. I'm going to go outside and throw these on the Weber kettle with the Santa Maria attachment over an open fire, Bert. We're going to do these half pounders over open flame. Now, if I suggested this rub to you guys, you know, if it wasn't good, I wouldn't be bringing it to you. Try it lightly first, yourself. And then you decide if, you, if it's too salty for you, then you can back off on your next thing. But to me, I don't think so. I think they got it down, I think the Dusted Company has got it down to a well balance. It's a veteran owned company. It's good on steaks and burger seasoning. There you go, a New York strip burger, steak burger, right? What is a burger? The ground steak. All right, now what we're gonna do is let's put these in the refrigerator, let them cool. And I'll come back and I'll show you how to make that, that meal. Dusted meal. All right guys, now for that dusted meal, we're gonna add 
It's about a oh, let's go three big tablespoons. Now this will be good on anything later on down the road. What you don't use, you can save for up to a week. I imagine. We're gonna take some of this dusted salt, pepper, garlic in here, folks. And a little charcoal. We're gonna make about one tablespoon. We're gonna put that right in there. We're gonna stir that in. This is our dusted mayo that we're gonna put on those dusted burgers. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh, that's starting to smell pretty good. Stir this up really good, right really good. Put it back in the refrigerator, let it mingle for a while. And we'll come back and put it on them burgers. We're gonna take some of these fresh onions. We're gonna slice them up. I got these at the farmer's market. Fresh is always better than store bought. And we're gonna to toast us up some bun. And I got tomato and all that good stuff. All right, be right back, folks. All right, guys. We got us a live fire cooking. Those dusted New York strip burgers going down. Ooh, she's screaming hot, folks. Screaming hot. There you go. Let's give these about. Oh, let's give it about four minutes and we'll flip them. Be right back, folks. Look at that flame hitting that burger, folks. Maybe we'll hang out here for a couple seconds. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Uh. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, it's been four minutes. <clears throat> right when a guy wants to mow his yard. Oh, well. Life must go on, folks. Ooh, hot folks. Alright. We'll go another four minutes and check them. Alright guys, it's been another four minutes. Let's raise them up. Away from that heat. Let's check it internal temperature, folks. Hang on, I won't drop you. I got my chef's temp instant read. I'm looking for about 155. I did not harvest this animal, so I want to make sure it's safe. We're at 143, 136, that one's 124, that one's 120. These are more well done than these, so I'm going to flip them around, drop them down for a couple minutes, and then I'm going to pull them off and we'll bring them inside and make us a burger. We'll be right back, folks. And there we have it. Folks, the dusted burger, New York strip burger. I toasted up some bun. We got that beautiful dusted mayo we made. Nice juicy burger. All right, now you can fix your uh, burger up any way you want. We got some grilled onions here. All right, we got a. We got some lettuce like that. You catching all that folks let's just grab any one of these burgers these are half pounders folks look at that beautiful like that maybe throw a tomato on top maybe some more grilled onions all right and a little more mayo on the top bun here i don't know where you get your onions and tomatoes for but from but mine don't come dusted We'll put a little dusted on there, like that. And there we go. One beautiful burger. Get this stuff out of the way. Alright. What do you think, guys? Nice. Good old dusted burger. New York strip dusted burger with dusted mayo. Well, so I cut it in half. Or do I just pick the whole thing up and take a bite? Now I just cooked these to a medium, medium well. I didn't harvest this animal and those steaks look kind of old, so I want to be safe. <laughs> anyway, let's bring it up. You take one big old bite, folks. All right, guys, here we go. The dusted New York strip burger, Scotty style. Got it? <laughs> Oh, 
that's juicy, folks. <clears throat> I'm sure digging that rub, folks. That burger is seasoned to perfection. Juicier than heck and running on the ground. You don't have to grind up your own New York strip. Go get your regular burger, put a little dusted on it. You know, I'm sure you're digging this. And I'll leave a link down below where you can buy it from my Amazon store. Doesn't cost you nothing, but Scotty makes a couple cents. Alright, go in one more bite. <laughs> Mmm. You don't want to hear me smacking all day. That's a well ballad. <clears throat> it's just a tad, you know, just the salt's just a little bit above the rest. It ain't way up, in my opinion, though, folks. I think that's perfect. Experiment with you, <clears throat> with it. Get you some rub. Go down, get that link. Go get you some. Peace out, folks.